Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? Yes, guys, Toma is insane. And Genshin Impact just showed us the amazing trailer that he had. And he looks absolutely awesome. And in my opinion, he's going to be game changing. Yes, guys. If you guys do enjoy this type of video, consider liking this video as well, subscribing to the channel. Let's get straight into the video. Guys, Toma is coming in Genshin Impact 2.2, in which he will be on Hu Tao's banner. So Hu Tao and the Elixir Toma is going to be in the same banner together. So I'm assuming this banner is going to be highly anticipated by the community. For me myself, I'm really looking forward to it as well. I cannot wait to use this character. He looks awesome and uh, he has to be the one of the best looking characters in the game in my opinion he looks to have a zhongli type shield as well as looking like a xing cho with the pyro attacks every time he attacks you see the pyro effects that keep going on here it's sort of similar to what xing cho does so what xing cho does is after he normal attacks during his ultimate he releases his rainfall swords in which they apply wet as well as deal a decent amount of damage and Toma here, he looks like he's doing the same thing. Not to mention, he does have a shield alongside him. Not to mention, he's Pyro. I feel like this character is going to be game changing, and I'm assuming everybody's going to be using him pretty much all the time. He looks to have a shield. I don't know how good that shield is, but if we're going based off what Jinyan has, Jinyan has a pretty decent shield. So hopefully our guy Toma here has a decent shield as well. And hopefully his damage multipliers are uh, <laughs> similar to Xing Cho. And let's see what he does with that. He's going to be coming out with the new spear. I'm not quite sure how good the new spear would be be but in my opinion so first things first i have no idea what his stats are no, none whatsoever but i'm gonna be naming some of the main spears that i think is going to be pretty effective on him anyways so um seeing that he does have a shield it means either two things he's either going to be dependent on hp or defense and um with that in mind you could go with a hp or defense staff or a just simply an energy recharge staff to go alongside his ultimate yes i do feel like that's the best thing we have so speaking of energy recharge we have the cat everybody has a cat it you know you did catch in like 100 fish the catch r5 is going to be pretty much great on him similar to what we have with the shangling with the whole you know effect going off i'm not quite sure if this effect stays on field whenever a different character plays and a different character does normal attacks or whatever it is i'm not quite sure how he works yet but he looks absolutely awesome and i cannot wait to try him out um you have other weapons such as the infamous dragon's bane right here as well as you know the kitane cross spear as well both of those have elemental mastery as their main stat and will actually be pretty or be pretty decent on him so if you guys want to go for an elemental mastery build they might prove to be useful to you guys as well what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below anyways he looks awesome He's going to do so much for your team. He's going to help synergize so many teams, make Zhang Ling available for some other teams, make Xing Cho available for other teams. He's going to help with the reverse vaporize heavily here, and I cannot wait to see him do exactly that. So if I show you guys Xing Cho over here, um, you can see that his talents, if we go over here to Guha Ring Cutter, um, his sword rain damage is 103% per sword. Um, but seeing that Toma has a different type of thing where he just releases an output of Pyro, I'm assuming this will be a little higher for him. But I do hope he is somewhat like Xing Cho because that's going to be absolutely insane and I cannot wait to try him out. And, um, so from the snippet that we got, we can see that he has two different types of shield. One shield is the one where he uses his elemental skill. He gets a little bit of a shield that we can see there. And one is when he uses elemental burst. You can see after he uses elemental burst, he gets like this thick shield he looks really tough and i'm assuming that's just to indicate that your pyro output is there i'm not quite sure if it's going to do something extra or if it's going to buff the shield even further but it does look like he has two different types of shields when we look at it like that it could be similar to how shing cho's elemental skill works in which he gets 
24% damage reduction and you can see his little rain swords surrounding him so maybe that's the similar case with Homa and his little shield that he gets so as we all know uh, you have Shinkyo out like this and he uses his elemental skill he gets these rain swords that is surrounding him I'm assuming this is some type of shield that Toma has and this is something very similar to what Toma has in general so maybe it works exactly like the damage reduction shows and if it does it might even heal you. With that being said I'm not quite sure where he would fit into the meta. If he were to be something similar to Shing Cho we would need a pretty strong hydro character to keep up with him and if not we could use a cryo character and in which case melt is going to be pretty nuts and yes we have lots of cryo characters we have ganyu we have yola misato ayaka ayaka might actually be pretty insane alongside toma so maybe just maybe he's going to be pretty much insane anyways so yeah so we have a lot of cryo units we go to our character archive here we can see that we have just just one too many really we have eula we have ayaka we have ganyu being the three best cryo damage dealing ones uh, and then we have rosaria chi chi hong yun and okay a lot of cryo units in general are pretty heavily on you know just damage in general and they just their main dps right and we have kamisara ayaka ganyu Eula. Eula's not, in my opinion, Eula's not that much cryo. You just do the Amato skill and Amato burst to get that little bit of damage there for cryo, but she's not really there yet. Ganyu and Kamisarayaka, on the other hand, are fully cryo, so it's going to be pretty good for them in general. And then other than that, you have your vaporized character, so if you have a DPS mode, it'll be pretty interesting. If you have Kokumi, would also be pretty interesting as well and um some other characters maybe you can have shing cho and him alongside together and then you can have you as your physical damage dps or you can have razor do that instead i don't know you have a lot of options here but that's gonna be it for me of course i'm not gonna guarantee me getting c6 on him i could get none i don't know but i'm gonna waste all my primary gems on him that's for sure but yeah, that's going to be it from me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. I'm a future Toma main and you are absolutely awesome. See you guys in the next video.